So I wanted to find out how the vehicle scaling in Little War worked, and when I googled it, the results were... Uh, it scales at high level. Yeah, but... By how much? Uh... And that's pretty much where it left off. So I figured I'd put in the effort and find out how it actually worked. So I started flipping through Wowhead and Wow Evo and ended up coming across this ability. Ride vehicle scales with gear. The effect states it scales by 1% damage and 1% health, but 1% of what? So I'm still left with a question that has no answer. The PTR is up. I come into Odor on two different tunes, each with their own banquet of gear to mess around with. I didn't realize how much of a rat race this was going to be with uh, convoluted number schemes, but hey, why would things ever need to be simple, right? If you look at the vehicle without getting into it, it has a baseline health. This is at one time scale. It is interesting to note that your offhand and your range do not matter in any way, shape, or form. And it does a calculation for 15 slots, your main hand, and the rest of your armor pieces. And it gives you a total value. If every one of your pieces are epic and they're all eye level 200, you will have 3,000 combined eye level between all 15 pieces of gear. This is the baseline for every one of those vehicles. Consequently, if you come in and you have a total of 3,000 eye level, all 200 eye level pieces that are of rare quality, the health and damage is going to drop multiplied by 0.61. Porting one of these vehicles naked or below the eye level scaling limit, you will achieve 0.1 times health and damage, which means you'll be doing a tenth of the total output that this vehicle is capable of, essentially crippling the ever-living hell out of the effects of this vehicle. So truly, to keep this very simple, just stick to epics. So I'm gonna jump right into it, I'm gonna show you this spreadsheet that explains everything very thoroughly. So this is it. This is a definitive answer that I had been searching for, getting some baseline understanding. I was able to conjure this. Since 3000 eye level equates to base is one to one scale, I had to work my way backwards to see where it started from. Knowing this number, I was able to subtract it from the total and get an actual representation of value. As mentioned previously, rares and greens make this complicated. They add a buffer of a deficit. If you were to replace a single 200 epic with a 200 blue, you would go down 2.6% or 13 points. If you were to somehow conjure a 200 green, you would go down 26 points or 5.2%. From this point forward, I'm no longer going to be mentioning the rares or the greens. This is all about the epics. So it is here where my journey ends and I have my answer. For every one point you go up in eye level with all epics, you go up 0.2%. So the answer to ride vehicle scales with gears equation of 1% is every 5 eye level equates to 1% increase of health and damage. Knowing that, we can see the base values. If you're at 213 eye level total across all your pieces of gear, you'll do 1.39 times the damage you normally would if you had 200 eye level instead. The absolute maximum anyone can achieve in phase 1 is 3,377 eye level total, equating to 1.75 times the damage. Most people are going to rest between 1.39 and 1.75. When you are in the vehicle, if you open up your character sheet under melee tab and hover over damage, it'll produce a toast window telling you how much damage the vehicle is currently capable of. This only matters in the very beginning for killing Flame Leviathan week one. As you progress into Ulduar, reaching 1.75 becomes less of a feat. You'll easily achieve over two times the amount of damage just getting close to normal eye level, let alone BIS, which is closer to 2.5 times. And just for fun, I did all of TOC, ICC. It gets ridiculous. Well over three times. Near the end, if Ruby Sanctum comes out, you're 3.4 times the damage output. Anyway, this was kind of a headache, but I hope it helps, and uh, have fun out there. <laughs>